All right, it's time. I've been grinding for a long time. Y'all know that. And it's time I achieve one of my long lost goals. All right, I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm a little more than 30,000 away. So please, Pharaohs, help me run my sub count up in the month of September. If you watch this video, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers in one month to get to 100K. Again, we can do this, Pharaohs. I trust in my Pharaohs. Y'all didn't help me down and pay my bills for over a year. And I know we can do this together. We've been through a lot. The grind ain't never stopped. And we going forward in the month of September. I need about 30,000 subscribers in the month of September to achieve this goal. I'm going to grind my behind off to get to it. I know we got it in us. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. We finna do something amazing and have our moment. By the end of September, 30,000 subscribers in one month. Let's go. Go. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, 100K gang. What the Pharaohs at? We on our way to 100,000 subscribers by the end of September. It's September 1st, so it's time to get after it, all right? We're going to be at 100K by the end of this month. You got my word on it, all right? Anyways, so I, I found this interesting. Kyrie Irving's press conference with, with the Boston Celtics was today. As a matter of fact, him and Gordon Hayward's both press conferences, conferences were today. And my takeaway from the press conference was... um. We'll get into that in separate videos. We'll get into a, a couple takeaways. But my takeaway from Kyrie saying he hasn't spoke to LeBron James, it's that's just disappointing, all right? Um, well, first and foremost, I, no, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but if you've been following Telefero for your Celtics uh, Cavalier news, guys, Kyrie and, and LeBron James fiasco over the last couple weeks, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to brag, but I've been pretty on the money. I told y'all that I had a source that told me LeBron had been reaching out to Kyrie. He wasn't answering the phone. That's the truth, y'all. LeBron tried calling Kyrie after the, the news broke that Kyrie wanted out to try to work things out. Kyrie ain't want to answer the phone. Um, And Kyrie kind of alluded to that in the press conference. I was pissed how Kyrie didn't go out of his way to mention LeBron at any point through this. I didn't like that. I thought you owed us something. Tell us something. Like, we're not stupid, Kyrie, as fans. You could tell us that it's about the potential for you to be great with Boston all you want. But the truth of the matter is, Boston has no one on that team better than LeBron James. And then I could take it a step further. The truth of the matter is, there is no one on that Boston Celtics team that will give the Golden State Warriors fits right now. Now, again, maybe they're one piece away. Maybe in a couple years, Jason Tatum can be that guy. Um, but right now, or Jalen Brown in the future, right now, Golden State ain't scared of Cleveland in the finals. Excuse me, of Boston in the finals, and probably not Cleveland either. But I, I'm pretty sure Golden State will lose more sleep uh, over dealing with LeBron and Isaiah over Kyrie and, 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 and Gordon Hayward. I'm sorry, man. They, they just don't threaten them. They just don't threaten them. But with that being said, I, I just think this situation is unfortunate how it played out. Two of the game's most talented players, they couldn't even talk to each other. And maybe LeBron dropped the ball at some point during the season with communication. I was told Kyrie had been pissed for quite some time. Um, he didn't talk to them after the first round of the playoffs for about a week or two. The team, they didn't talk to Kyrie. He wasn't talking to them. At that point, I'm pretty sure he already wanted out. And if I'm LeBron James... He probably thought he was going to war with somebody who really wanted to win a championship for Cleveland. But, I mean, I'm not saying Kyrie didn't want to win the games that he was out there because the brother went hard. But, dang, it's like, sheesh. We had to play Boston in the conference finals. And, and, and shoot, I mean, shoot, that's Kyrie's team now. It's kind of like he was playing with the Ops. And I'm not saying Kyrie demanded a trade to Boston. Boston wasn't on his short list. But he seems happy, man. And it just looks to me an unfortunate situation. With the success that Kyrie and Braun had together, those two. Remember game four was that game five in the 2016 NBA Finals, they both went for 41. The success that both of those guys had. You you mean to tell me you don't think it was any way these two could get on the phone and, and work this out? He had to really be pissed at Braun about something or the team. He, may, he might like or love Tr Tristan Thompson and Kevin Love and LeBron James. Kyrie ain't want to play with them though. He ain't want to play with them. You can say what you want. Because when Shaq left Kobe, and well, Shaq was traded out of Los Angeles, and he wanted out because it was like, it's me or him. Remember, Shaq acknowledged that he was leaving a great player in Kobe Bryant, but he they had problems. 
Kyrie leaving LeBron, he's not going to a ultimate better situation for winning championships. I don't think you can definitively say that. Now, maybe Boston does win a championship at some point down the line. But to me, I don't see it happening. I don't even know if they can get out of the East right now. I'm, I'm thinking I picked them over Cleveland. We'll talk about that later. But, I mean, Kyrie acknowledging that he ain't talked to Braun yet, that tells me there's something there. You don't leave a guy like that and not talk to him about, hey, Braun, what's your intentions? Are you going to stay? Can, you, can we get you to sign on that line? No, there was something emotional there. And I've heard a couple rumors of what it could be. I'm not 100% sure. There was something there that Kyrie didn't like about that team and, 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 and or LeBron James personally. And there's something there. And he's trying to cover it up. And I'm not mad at the brother Kyrie. I'm excited to see the Boston Celtics play. But there's something there that he's trying to hide. And when you acknowledge that you ain't, you still ain't talked to LeBron about that, you still ain't, after three years of success, one championship, who knows, could have been two if, you, if Kyrie wouldn't have got injured the first go around. I don't know. There has to be something there about that. And, and and now Kyrie is, isn't competing for championships. He's competing for conference finals appearances. And, and that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate that these two can get on the phone and work something out. And Bron, need to, he would have had to work something out on his end too. But I'm pretty sure if Kyrie would have told Bron, I'm about to leave. You need to make a decision. You need to sign an extension now. I don't want to play here anymore if you're not going to be here. We got to make some things work. I'm pretty sure Bron would have been willing to do something. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.